I'm Rob with Serious Software. Today I want to demonstrate setting up uh, the basics for the digital print, digital ready data set. If we are in control, within an estimate or an order, and we've opened up the digital print product. Next we want to talk about the templates. Now a template is really the final output of what's happening. So if I look at the template, first thing we come to, again, I can add this as a new template or edit an existing one, giving it a new template name. Currently, this template is working on a cost-based pricing, which really refers to, to meaning it's going to take in all the parts that are being utilized, all of their cost, and mark them up to give you a final price. Where area-based pricing means it's not going to look at all of these different costs and mark them up according to how we've set them up. It's going to look at a different pricing methodology altogether. In this case, if I selected an area-based pricing, here it wants to know if there's any one-time charges, meaning it's going to be $10, X $10 and then so much per square foot to print on this roll of material. There are a number of options in these drop-down lists depending on what you need to match. If we need additional ones, please talk to your implementer. The next function in area-based pricing is table-based pricing. This allows you to set up a table within control, in the table setup, and link it directly to this. This is if I wanted to say 18 by 24 is our certain price, 24 by 36 is our certain price, etc., or a fixed price. I could put, add in a table and say that's based off of each one or so much per square foot based off the quantity. Please see additional videos or talk to your implementer about setting up price tables. The company UDF, how this company pricing plan, how this works is you can set up a user defined field within the company record. Taking the name of that user defined field of the company record and adding it to here We'll, we'll pull in a price based off the individual company placing the order. Once that is created, you just tell it how it's based, meaning is the price in that user defined field per each, per price, per square foot, per linear foot, and if something else is needed, please speak with your implementers. There is no field, apologize for that. It was looking for each and there isn't one. The default line item discount. This refers to a discount. This does show as a discount on the order. So I could say whenever I'm using this particular template, we use it, we give a 10% discount. So this could be wholesale custom roll print that will reflect and show a discount price. Now this could be a percentage, this could be per quantity, it could be a discount per square foot. And if there's something else required, please speak with your implementer. Advanced rule is when it needs when discounts need to be a little more complex, meaning they have to run on more specifics, meaning we give a 10% discount after $500 sale, 15 after 1000. These are more complex and I recommend your implementer set these up if they are required. The next is the processes. Let's jump back to the order real quick. You'll notice that my child processes, I can add laminate. I can add whatever I need. So when I choose custom laminate, you'll notice that it automatically open the custom uh, template of custom laminate. That is based off this field that when I choose custom roll print and select a laminate, it chooses the custom laminate template. Now, Maybe I have different templates based off of whether it's a banner, whether it's a standard, whether it's laminating flat stock, whether it's laminating Coro. All of these could be different prices or different costs. Let's jump in and look at that laminate and look at setting it up like we did the digital print product. Looking at the laminate, we'll look at the expanded 
field, the details, and it will open up the screen into the large form. You may notice this form looks identical to the wide format print or digital print form, mainly because it is. Each one of these subcomponents is very similar to the parent and are set up in the same way. Meaning if I want to set up a new material, a new laminate, we do it in the same way we did the digital print material. We do it by the roll or the roll foot, whether we're cutting this material when we have to cut it, in the same way as the digital print vinyl. Our printer is set up in lamp like the laminator, except the laminator, we have a thermal laminate, we may also use adhesive. Again, you can fill out any one of the different machine modes based off of the different functionality that you use. In this case, we're doing thermal, and it's 150 linear feet per hour. And when we use adhesive, we're doing 100 feet per hour. So in this case, if I say with adhesive, and I look at the thermal laminate again, So our production labor, area utilization, again, if we wanted to add in a second material or any material, this laminate at this point is not using a second material, but I could default it if I wanted to always use some form of paper or something to go so that it doesn't scratch. You could use some type of crepe paper in conjunction uh, with this material for this machine depending on how you set things up. It could also be utilized only with certain quality modes. How much time does it take to set up the laminator? Again, it takes some time to load the laminate, our cost of the laminator, and how we mark that up to the client in a cost-based system. Once we have the materials and laminator set up, We'll also look at the template for custom laminate. Maybe this one becomes vinyl laminate instead of custom laminate. Once we've created that new, that new laminate for vinyl laminate or whatever we're going to call it, and we save it. Again, we could do an area-based pricing if we wanted here. We could do square footage of $2 a square foot with a $5 one-time charge. And again, I'm just making an example. And we're using the material category of a laminate stock. And we'll save that. All right, once that has been saved, um, you'll see that we now have a vinyl laminate option. So my template of vinyl laminate, I can set up what I want in the, as that vinyl laminate. Generally, I would not put in a size if I'm saving it uh, to save with the size, the laminator, the material, any additional materials or equipment that go with the vinyl laminate. If you always use a backer and adhesive with the vinyl laminate, you'd add those in. And then you can save these functions as far as the main form from the save button on the top right. So this save button is going to save the equipment and the materials, the options, and any additional options, including size, with this vinyl laminate template. Whereas the save button inside of here saves all of these options within the vinyl laminate. So now let's just go jump back into our digital print. So if I look at this template for laminate, what we really wanted to do is do vinyl laminate with this custom roll print vinyl. So I'm going to add it, edit it. We're going to add the vinyl laminate as our option for laminate. And then we're going to save that. So at this point, anytime I choose custom roll print and I select laminate, it's going to use the vinyl laminate template by default, which of course may have its own price. So what this allows us to do is set up full template structures, meaning if I now go to my, a new digital print product, choose custom roll print, choose laminate, 
you'll see that it selected the vinyl laminate with the cut with the two dollars a square foot that we have calculated on the lamination uh, on the template. Oh, let's save that, which would save these functions. Now, you may have noticed that lamination and digital print are set up identical. We are just setting up a material, a piece of equipment, and a template for each one. That is also true for all the other processes in the system. If we look at mounting, mounting product is the same product, just with different materials, different equipment, and different options. Some options, some functions, will not utilize a new material, but we will be a function on the existing one. Meaning if I go to cutting, you'll notice that plotting is using the material type print vinyl and standard vinyl. How this is utilized is if we look at a template, we'll jump into this template, you'll notice two options at the bottom. Use the parent material or use a parent machine. So when we're plotting something, we, it has no material of its own in this situation. What it's saying is we're going to utilize the material that's being printed and we're going to cut it. The information of this material, meaning in this situation cut speed, is transferred from the digital print product to the cutting to give you accurate cut time. Now this concludes this, the video on how the basics are set up in control, setting up the material, the equipment, and the template of each equipment. There are a few other options, such as in finishing. We have the same functions as far as equipment is concerned. However, the materials will be set up based off of placement. I mean, if I look at this list, and I recommend your, your implementers help you set this up if something else is needed, what we're looking at is how is something placed. Is it placed only in the corners, 18-inch centers, perimeter, foot? And if we look at this list, you'll notice you have each one, and then each one will define a material list and then how much is used for that of that material. So in this case, if I say uh, corners only, it's going to see that the top and bottom each get two that's a, of a unit of each com complete component. If I say something is based on a perimeter foot, then you will get the materials that are based in a perimeter foot, and these perimeters reflect the footage of the perimeter. So in this case, it's two feet on the top and bottom, three feet on the left and right sides of Velcro, one inch. Same with the grommets. Painting works the same way as the others, and this also works the same way anywhere specific colors are going to need to be selected meaning in our digital print everything is four color process but in painting we need to select specific colors that are going to be used so in this case we can select for our colors percentage of fill whether it's a color match or not and then our production is based on the same thing we have our equipment our complexities and our paint in the same way of digital print if we look at this on a large form and I look at the paint sprayer, this is giving me my times and any labor components required. And the types of paint. This concludes the basic setup of the digital print process, product and its processes. Please refer to other videos for more detail on other products. Thank you.